we're all probably feeling a bit overwhelmed at the minute about the scale of the climate crisis, about the pace of change of global warming. But actually what we need to do now is we have 10 years to turn this around. 2020 is the start of the climate decade when we've absolutely got to pile in as individuals, as companies, as social enterprise, as governments and back the solutions that are out there to change the climate crisis. And sometimes I think we can think we're going to have to look for some magic technological solution that's going to refreeze the Arctic. No, not at all. We know at Ashton that the solutions are already out there, that there are amazing men and women and young people throughout the world who have found new ways to tackle global warming, whether it's in the city of Medellin in Colombia where they're greening the corridors, or whether it's London boroughs where they've helped get people cycling and so have cleaned up the air, or whether it's someone in India who's found a new way to have rickshaws owned by women, electric rickshaws that again are cleaning up the air, but putting people at the heart of it and making sure that the shift from our current unequal climate crisis is a fair transition that by the end not only are we addressing the needs of the planet and of nature but we're also addressing the needs of people for greater equality and making sure that they are supported as part of the solution. So let 2020 be the year that governments and local authorities and companies really get behind the existing solutions and take them to scale.